Arthur, really impressive uh, officers here. Thank you very much. So let's go across the park. I really wanted to introduce you to Arthur and I wanted to introduce you to Arthur and the Hummingbird uh, business for a while now. Within agriculture, Hummingbird has created a huge splash and I think there's more of an opportunity even more so within agriculture and, uh, and fresh produce. But before we go into Hummingbird, Arthur, a bit of background for all of our viewers on your good stuff. So my name's Arthur Soames. I grew up on a family farm in Oxfordshire and um, I spent my time uh, at uni after university in the army. Uh, for five and a half years, um, and I came out, and actually this is the first job I've had since, since joining the army. Wow! Okay. Uh, since leaving the army, and and actually what I've found is that I've always been interested in agriculture. I've got deep roots in it um, in my family, but I also understand that there's been such a wave of technological change over the past ten years, especially, and that artificial intelligence and machine learning is is simply a way of harnessing. Uh, intelligence that formerly humans did yep. and getting a computer to do it for you yeah, yeah. Uh, and I see vast potential for that opening up um, great change and development in agriculture and fitness. So, so the, uh, the military element is very interesting because uh, we've placed quite a few people from the military Ag and, and fresh produce companies are a bit reticent to, to bring them in because they say they've got no ag experience they've got no fresh, fresh produce experience but someone like yourself and your colleagues from the army you've had so much um, uh, money investment training put into you that for you to come into the sector I think is a, is a, is a huge boom but, but, but wasn't there the potential for you to stay within the army and and um, take that curiosity about the likes of AI and do it within the army rather than coming into the Luddite world of agriculture <laughs> well I certainly wouldn't accept um, accept that final premise but actually it, there's a very good point you make about about staying in or, or leaving and actually I was working with bringing a brand new battle tank the Ajax battle tank into service in, 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 in the British Army oh my, my boys um, and I've been following that really yeah. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, it's, a, it's an amazing piece of kit. Okay. Um, and, and we used drones, we used satellite yeah. imagery, and we did some really amazing stuff um, uh, there. But I really had this, I, I, I saw all the amazing stuff we were doing in the army, and I knew that there was ways to apply it sensibly in okay. agriculture too. Okay. And I saw this as an opportunity. Um, I saw agriculture as an opportunity yeah. rather than the army is not something I yep. want to pursue anymore. Okay, so um, feet. But, but in terms of the, the people you've hired, all I would say to that point is that so I, I, I spent a year at Santa yep. being trained in leadership management and development uh, and then have had four and a half years since then in the field army to actually apply that and yep. learn on the job. Uh, by the end I was managing 500 people and 90 vehicles doing battlefield exercises going across half of Canada. So I've, uh, it, the army gives you that amazing um, uh, training, but yep. also practical application of leadership Fantastic. and trustworthiness. And, and uh, there are there are many many skills I think in in, in soldiers, ex-soldiers, and ex-officers yep. that are underrated and undervalued totally. in the commercial world. So, so everyone, if we if we ever ask you to review an individual from the from the services, please do. For that very reason, I think it's a fantastic advert there for bringing the, the if, we could, if we could duplicate you, Arthur, put you through the photocopier and get, get more of you within the sector, I think it would be hugely beneficial. I think there is a, there's a lot to be had for ex-servicemen in, in this industry. Um, they are generally tend to be very trustworthy, yep. they tend to have good leadership skills yep. and experience yep. rather than simply training. Yep. Um, and furthermore, they are um, they are pretty robust individuals, and, yep. and we all understand agriculture is usually something that's outdoors. It's usually yep. something that can be quite stressful and indeed quite lonely. Uh, and if you're looking for somebody who can fulfil all those roles um, and be more likely to succeed than others, I yep. think an, an ex serviceman is a is good place to start. Fantastic. So, hummingbird. Who, what, why, when? What is hummingbird? So, the concept of hummingbird was very similar to what we were talking earlier about um, my what I saw in the army beforehand, which was. But farming uh, is, is the world's oldest profession, yep. um, uh, and yet it has still not taken um, uh, taken hold of the vast um, changes in um, uh, technology that we've seen in banking or yep. finance yep. Uh, or, or um, any of the other industries that, that, that we connect. 
And um, so Hummingbird was built on the premise three and a half years ago, but by combining AI and machine learning with remote sensing, you could um, deliver efficiencies and productivity to, to the farming sector. Yep. Now, the farming sector, we all know, is absolutely huge. Yep. And so um, uh, we started to focus on broader end crops. So cereals, um, oilseed rape, uh, so then, then into soy and um, uh, potatoes yep. and sugar. Um, and that's, we are deepening our, our, our specifications there. But recently, um, I know you have a, a great interest in fresh produce. Correct. Lots yep. of your viewers would as well. Recently, the, the algorithms we built to identify gaps in sugar cane, or indeed to count individual plants um, wow. in, in potatoes, okay. have great relevance to the fresh produce market. Absolutely. And, and so we've now developed algorithms that are counting in size of individual plants. So if you are a lettuce grower and you want to understand um, how to market your, your crop, your, your lettuce, we can tell you exactly how many lettuces are in the field and what size they are. So wow. whether they're 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay. If, for instance, you are um, trying to understand what misses you've had uh, in your planting, yep. whether it's you know, onions or anything like that, we can detect the gaps in the, in the growth yep. high resolution imagery, okay. saving you time yep. um, and, and really helping you understand what's in your field yep. and how to then manage it. Because it's fa fascinating because a number of people have heard, heard me say it before that in my view there's so much profitability held up within the supply chain, but normally we're actually talking about from, from uh, harvest all the way through to the supermarket shelf, but to actually to get down to the data of how much crop there's there mm. and what sizing it is, and presumably you can input that with the, uh, with, the with the weather conditions as to when it's going to be right to pick to help predict. So, okay. so one of the one of the really important things that I've I've learned um, uh, over the past um, year year and a half is is the um, fragility of these supply chains with certainly with those um, those crops that have um, a very short shelf life yep. uh, and uh, and they often have short growing seasons as well and so farmers know growers know exactly what they're putting into the ground yep. but they have no idea what's going to come out yep. and having visibility over that throughout the season throughout the growing season is yep. so valuable and yep. Yep. And it's something that most people haven't really realised that they could, could even could do. Yep. Um, and so uh, this has been a really exciting um, uh, part of the exploration for us, yep. market exploration for us. And we're getting people coming to us and say, hey, can you do this, that, the other? And most of the time we have to say no. Yep. Most of the time we have to say, look, the value isn't there for you okay. and we can't do that yet. But sometimes, sometimes they come and they have, here's our problem. Yeah. And we say, well, actually, I think we've got a solution. Okay. And it's worked, it's worked really well. For Okay, so our network yeah. within agriculture fresh produce is pretty extensive. Who would you like to talk to? Who do you think should be engaging with yourself with hummingbirds? So, I think the, the biggest struggle we have is um, uh, engaging with those people who have been, firstly, who, who have in that trough of disillusion of having been promised the world and, and really not seen value in this technology. Yep. I think people have been promising precision farming since the 1980s. Yep. Um, uh, and, and I think that, that, that if you see everybody's sort of got very excited about it and then they realise that most of the things yep. And now we're slowly on that hard grind up to yep. prove with examples and return on investment uh, and case studies that actually this does work and it works well and reliably. Yep. And so um, all I would, I would say is that this message needs to go out to those people who have been burned before okay. uh, and, and are coming there with a healthy scepticism. For those interested in working in the industry, yeah. I would say that, that you are, this industry is, is ripe for disruption and we're going to see a lot of change here. If you are keen and interested in technology, if you are keen in feeding the world, we are under a huge yep. pressure over the next 20 years to do that. Um, uh, this, is a, this is a mission not to make money, but to actually give everybody the food Ch they need to change, live. Change the world. And yep. so, the uh, world. And, and so it, it's a wonderful uh, narrative to, to, to have. And, and, and it does, it makes you feel great about going into work today when you're using the latest technology in the oldest profession yep. to feed your, your neighbours and your cousins and the rest of the world. What to watch. I'd be fascinated to meet up again in the next couple of years and just see how Hummingbird has progressed, not, not just in the UK but internationally. Be very pleased. Thanks for your time, Mark. Thanks for Okay. All right.